Welcome aboard, Simon here from the Wales of Wall Street. Our favourite, or one of at least, IoT AI gems here, IoTEX, that's IoTX on the exchange. Before we go into the chart, a few classic updates here from IoTX. Uh, so we're going to start here with, on the 11th of October, a couple of days ago. Just some interesting information here around uh, DID. So um, in my opinion, and we covered actually, to be fair, we covered something similar like this this topic in the IOTA video that we did, I think a day or two ago. I'm getting all my days blurred into one these days. Um, but around the sort of IoT aspect, right, so the internet of things, everything connected to the internet, and AI, of course, the algorithm, you know, there's, there's so much going on with AI at the moment, uh, particularly in, uh, from my interest of, you know, in my work environment. So I can talk about this pretty much all day long, really, um, in, in regards to how this is happening and what, what's going to occur and everything like that. But just from the AI perspective, and I'll reiterate for those that haven't watched the IOTA video that we did around sort of um, digital passports and this, that, and the other, um, IOTX has been working very specifically uh, within smart devices. You see here um, some really key stats just from Amasa here. By 2030, 100 billion smart devices will be generating rich and valuable data about our behavior. Now, let me put this in perspective. So, what I mean by this, uh, let's take the concept, for example, of like I've I mentioned about the fridge. Okay, so and these these aren't new concepts really. They've, they've been around for a while. I'm sure Bill Gates has a multitude of them. But let's say you're taking an item out of the fridge, um, and the the base of the whole fridge is on the IoT network. So it's obviously connected to the internet, and it, it's acknowledged that you take some out of your fridge, and then automatically has ordered that item for you. Now that that's quite a, a simple process. That's been sort of thing going on for quite some time albeit that the market hasn't really been evolved enough yet certainly here in the UK to adopt that kind of thing on a mass scale right so we don't all have crazy fridges that do that right I'm quite a simple person I don't really care for that as much um, you know it's quite easy for me to just go and order some food and go to the shop or order it online whatever the situation is but my point with this is eventually uh, that con think of that concept of ordering things for you now that that's quite an easy step now let's take it to another level where we've got AI integration of course like human sensors eventually very soon you know there's patents as I've mentioned in a multitude of videos Microsoft got a patent for human sensors um, you've got things like biometric payments with Visa etc patents going through on that aspect link all those together so let's say um, you as a your health sensor kicked in and it's gone right so and you're you're malnutritioned or you need xyz minerals and this that and the other and and that would then tell the ecosystem of ai and iot or i, I call the smart grid um that you need all these other bits of food so it will, it will go and order it for you so you may not even know that it may, may give you a notification or something uh, through whatever device that might be in that time in a few years maybe through the eyes in the retina who knows we're not that far off that guys but th let's just say that that's one of the kind of possibilities the other kind of possibilities as well around sort of behavioral patterns is making decisions for you okay so it doesn't have to be about material products or services this can be things about behavioral patterns of like things that you purchase and in general the contracts that you might sign um, the buying or selling of your data and it started learning basically what you are as a person and that's already begun guys like you've got smartphones right for the last 10 years if you have a smartphone 10 12 years you have got a gigantic amount of digital identity behind you whether you like it or not whether you're on social media or not is, is out of the question it's more about the data and the analytics that have been built up on it and we know for, kind of for a fact I'm not mentioning any names here uh, but there are brands of smartphones and this, that, and the other who have been selling people's ownership uh, data without them knowing, or certainly have put in their terms and conditions that actually we've accepted that because no one reads the sodding things, right? Um, so it's about giving you, the person, the control mechanism of you know the know your customer smart contract aspect in blockchain, the ability to go, actually, no, I don't want my data sent there, or yeah, you can have my data, but you can pay me for it. Like what's my reward? It's like kind of like a pay to earn, but as you're walking around, right? So there's all these multitude of things, like in terms of the identity and behaviors and stuff. But 
I think valuable data is something that's a really key aspect of what's going to you know, really explode over the next few years in my opinion uh, this whole DID aspect is something that you hear more and more especially with AI and IoT projects and not just with those I'm sure other blockchains will start mentioning it more and more there's no doubt in my mind because for blockchain to work properly you need the interoperability of a multitude of projects so I don't think for one second that IoTX is going to be the full-on leader it can't be um, you need a multitude of projects working together what DIDs add to blockchain ecosystems there's, there's a multitude of aspects of decentralized identifications or identifiers as they call them on here to, to take this positioning in place and I will do a video maybe dedicated to DID uh, in a few days time because of my experience and knowledge that I have in the sector for a multitude of years now um, I, hopefully I can explain that in more detail because there's so many case studies around that but just to reiterate guys we're in a human to machine learning and um, aspect of life right now we are teaching machines um, not necessarily directly but also from the algorithm of what you're doing left right and center whether you're browsing whether you're scanning on your phone whatever you're doing and whatever you're buying whatever you're selling whatever you're doing in terms of events or transportation this that and the other type of hotels it's all an algorithm guys you're you're literally you, you right now whether you like it or not are contributing to a essentially a digital identity of yourself that will then eventually be utilized to the point where machine will take over um, I'm not talking about like gigantic, gigantic robots or anything. What I mean by machine is the algorithm of AI contemplating uh, behaviors on your behalf and you giving that trust over. And in order, that's quite a, a complex scenario in right now is you're teaching it, whether you like it or not, you're teaching this system and eventually it will make the decisions for you. Once you start getting into the pattern of like approving things, uh, it will then eventually learn, oh, he likes that or she likes that. He doesn't like that she doesn't like that whatever it is um, and building that portfolio of you and then just doing everything for you so you're walking around and you've got for example uh, a holiday booked you've gone oh, I want to go on holiday it already knows where you want to go it already has you in your mind what you're thinking about because of the things you've been researching recently or this that, and the other and then it's already booked your flight it's already booked the things for your flight it's already booked how many bags you'll take or this that, and the other and it will order things that you don't have all by itself because it's learned the trust mechanism of you and then it's learnt you and therefore it knows you and is you in a digital format and you just all of a sudden wake up one day and everything's here and it's all done for you that's what this DID kind of that's a very very brief and basic uh, pattern of what I'm trying to talk about with this DID aspect and like I said with the IOTA video the other day there's a massive race to really pull this technology together quicker more efficiently um, and hopefully the interoperability even more so and and that kind of ties on to our next point here about the mainnet so the mainnet has been activated on the 11th of October so that's just an encouragement and improvement of the nodes and the actual blockchain itself of IOTX so it's really putting into place a fantastic foundation and mechanism to boost these kind of projects that we're talking about not just in DID but a multitude of aspects we've already spoken previously about the AI and autonomous aspects of agriculture supply chain um, you know buying and selling as purchase behavior consumer behavior it's all going to be interlinked guys everything and everything uh, healthcare all of this stuff um, I think it's phenomenal and I, like I said in one of our other videos a while back this is a multi 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 trillion dollar market in the next five to ten years be a part of it it's not financial advice but you know if you're looking at a sector of importance I'd be looking at energy and AI and IOT sectors 100% just from what I know I know what's coming so guys hopefully that's been a bit of an interesting influx uh, another couple quick bits IOT has been added on the L bank I haven't done I'm not quite familiar with L bank so I need to do a bit more research on that but it's good to see some extra listings for IOTX and improvements on the ambassador program as well how to help continue the development of the IOTX platform it's a beautiful uh, project in terms of that aspect of you know helping bring communities together and people together to build a better future a more autonomous future for us to be more efficient build boost our economies create jobs hopefully well unless the machines take them all of course but um, yeah it's, it's very very good to see all this kind of thing um, occurring and finally here 
Uh, the testing device has arrived, the open hardware that mirrors the physical world to the metaverse, guys. This is the Pebble Tracker. We covered it in a previous video. Honestly, I love this. Blue pill or red pill? I've been, I think I've watched The Matrix about 10 times in this last month. I'm trying to find hidden messages. Yeah, I think we're in a very confusing world at the moment. On a transitional world, the fourth industrial revolution. We're truly crossing over very soon to a machine and interlaced virtual world, in my opinion. It's not far off, guys. Let's invest in it. Let's make money off it. Lovely, jubbly. Guys, hope you found that a bit interesting. Sorry, I've waffled on a bit too long, but hopefully that, that was good for you guys to get a bit more of an understanding of why I'm so interested in these kind of projects. Um, I like to think I speak passionately about them, and that's because, one, I do it in my work environment for a number of years, and two, I just know the magnitude and opportunity here for these kind of projects. IOTO is fantastic, Fetch AI, uh, you've got AGIX, of course, um, for Singularity Net, you got Matrix AI. There's there's more, there's more, and I'm invested in all of them because, like I said, for it all to work properly, there will be interoperability and bridging occurring at some point, partnerships with commissions, European unions, all of this kind of stuff across the world to work on a government scale, a, a consumer scale. It's going to be phenomenal. Guys, we wrapped up the info part. Let's jump into the chart. That was a good little run, actually. Might use that more. I completely forgot what I just said now as well. So I have to replay this. Anyway, smash that like button if you find this informative. And do hit that subscribe button as well if you have not done so already. Or if you're new to the channel, please do as well. And welcome aboard. Absolutely love it. We're smashing through the subscribers. Nearly on 3,000 already. Thank you so much for your support. Let's go into this. So guys, ITX has had a nice correction, as we said before. Look at the state of that. That is humongous. We had two points of correction so far, but now this tail up is absolutely fantastic to see. Um, this, I, in my opinion, is is obviously general organic growth of the market as you know across the board. But I think as well, people are getting more and more aware finally of these AI and IoT projects, and certainly these kind of ones that are in the background, uh, perhaps not being spoken as much as they have been, like the likes of Fetch. Um, IOTA is of course a giant one there, but I think IOTX is a really great one to accumulate some really good numbers of bags for it uh, to take us to, to hopefully profitable gains over the next few years. I'm, I'm holding these things you know, five years, ten years down the line because I know where it's all going. I'm so excited to be involved or certainly invest in something that is, is a, a phenomenal um, you know, uh, opportunity in the future. So a couple of other observations, guys, before um, we, we just check out the pricing and everything. But on the MACD here, we are thinning that gap. So we're coming back into our potential buy area. Uh, I heard two areas of interest in particular. Um, it wasn't that high, actually, to be fair. I think it's around 6.4 cents. And just dropping down here slightly under the uh, 5 cent mark, just in case. So these might be two areas, potentially, that you could grab some. We're not far off this this mark here. I do anticipate that we might come and tail down here before a nice jump up again. We haven't quite completed the support level here of around about six cents. So it'd be interesting to see if we come back down and test that. And I think that's a good thing. Um, well, I don't want to see obviously an absolute collapse and back down here, because as I've said in previous videos, there's no support mechanism in, in this area here. So. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite pleased to see a retaliation on a couple of these support lines and hopefully we can maintain that. Um, I think the next week or two is going to be quite critical to keep within this area in my opinion. So kind of what I'm talking about here is between this 6 cent mark and this 7 cent mark is really Im important. If we can maintain some level of interest around that area, I think we can start pushing this back up again. I'm just going to quickly uh, draw in here um, a macro uh, chart here just so I can get a rough idea of what kind of levels we were looking at so yeah it's very much a interesting aspect we couldn't quite come down to this 6.4 mark which is around about where I got one of my buy-ins from some profits I took a couple of days ago um, so we'll have to see how that plays out but what I'm interested in here is this support mechanism I'm more interested in it going up to be honest um, so around six, 0 0.067 if we can get a close over the next two three days of this we can start pushing back up 
I know it sounds very silly to be talking about you know miniatures of, of sense here but I think it's important in the longevity of this project to hit these numbers or these levels of areas of interest as much as we can uh, to really push this project up and up um, so yeah, there's, there's plenty of room to go in, in my opinion for ITX for the rest of this year um, but yeah I'm, I'm just still slightly cautious in the aspect of this big area here to fill um, but I, I, I'm hoping as I said in, in a few videos back that maybe we're actually discovering some some areas where IOTX should be I think this was under massively undervalued and I think it's because of the lack not necessarily lack of awareness but I think um, the, the mentality behind these kind of tokens I think now people are taking it more and more seriously and more interest in it um, you know and hopefully that will keep us going because we are seeing a very nice little trend pattern here now if I just draw in so you see what I'm talking about it's quite nice to see that uh, really pleasing so like I said in the next day or two is really important to see if we can get the traction here and push us up so we continue hopefully to maintain this kind of very nice pattern of, of, of an upward trend that we're seeing and who knows we might see it by the end of the month us moving up towards this uh, this potentially around this 8 cent mark again because a few days ago we touched up here at 0 0.078 which is absolutely phenomenal um, not quite the heights of up here uh, in fact I haven't drawn the line in there before so let's just stick that in there right now before I forget so yeah still a long way to go for the 15 cents guys but I think we'll get there for sure hopefully maybe in that sort of December period um, and I, I do anticipate to be fair I do anticipate the runs to be going on into next year as well we'll have to see we'll do a bit more of analysis on that thought process um, maybe uh, next month we'll just get some confirmations of where we're we're getting these support levels of IOTX first before we go ahead and do that but yeah do keep an eye on this area of interest it's not financial advice but certainly from my opinion and what I've got in place these are areas of interest to me uh, to, to get, grab maybe some final bags of ITX before we start moving up nicely uh, the RSI is very much bang in the middle so it, it's kind of confirming what I just said really the next two three days are really in, important for us to decide what, which which way are we going we're we coming back down to here or are we going to start pushing up I know it sounds a bit boring and cliche but that is where we are right now and it's 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 not easy to to anticipate where this is going so I'm just not going to do hype videos or anything like that it's just saying it how it is um, you know, and that's that's not because we don't have any idea it kind of is in the way that it's bang in the middle this MACD is moving downwards so it, that's why I've got this area here of the buying opportunity but if we close next two days three days over this mark I think we could start attacking back up here and towards the 7 cent mark and that would be phenomenal for IOTX I haven't got any performance indicators down here on this chart for some bizarre reason let me just see if I've got it on any of the other uh, data uh, projects here I don't think I do um, no we do not so let's keep an eye on this guys let us know in the comments below if you're holding IOTX um, I do on and off stake it in Binance uh, I'm looking to try and move on to a ledger eventually but um, yeah just enjoying the staking for now um, on the 30 day ones it's coming to an end because I thought actually by the time it comes to an end maybe the end of October we might be pushing up here maybe towards that hopefully that 10 cent mark or certainly into mid-November at least so it's on the cards guys it's in my mind let us know what you think of ITX in the comments below I'm looking forward to the next video guys we'll hopefully drop one in a few days time once we get confirmation of that support line and see where we are going from there thanks so much for watching guys we'll see you in the next video thank you um, bye-bye.